I'm off to my next destination here as I go from Austin to Waco, Texas. So be sure to subscribe, sit back, relax, enjoy this video as we explore the beauty of this container home. All right guys, so check this Airbnb out. This is an old shipping container converted into a tiny house. Take a close look. Now the outside they kind of reclaimed with wood. But if you look at this back end, we still got the shipping container metal on there. In fact, I think it might be two shipping containers. There's I mean, one on the bottom and maybe one, a half of one on the top. All right, let's take a look inside. So again, like a lot of the Airbnbs I've been at, the outside looking kind of rustic, nice, cool, old look to it. But then you come to the inside and you have this modern, beautiful, sleek look to it. Now this is a tiny house. I mean, you got your, your living room over here, a nice seating area. Got your kitchen over here. It's a decent sized sink. I mean, do a lot here. A mini fridge. Got your microwave. And then you also have your toaster oven. Oh darn, now that I think about it, I left my pizza at the other Airbnb. Darn. If we look back here, got your bathroom. So this Airbnb actually has two bathrooms. It has one down here and then one upstairs. And they got nice amenities like a hotel. Hand soap, hand lotion, you know, got toothbrushes here, toothpaste, nice shower. So decent bathroom. And these they got these rolling barnyard doors. So here's a first bedroom. Decent size. Kind of really comfy bed. Just very nicely decorated. And this is AC'd. We are in Texas, so you gotta have AC in here. Look at that light. Yeah, look at that. All right, so look at this. Looks like your typical nightstand or table or whatever you wanna call it, but if you look closely, You have a nice little TV hidden in there. Very awesome. I need these one one of these for home. Definitely a space saver. So like I said, there's an upstairs. So let's take a look up there. This is the second door. These steps, if you're old, might not be the best for you. Again, a really nice bedroom. I'll only be using one. Uh, I'll probably use the downstairs one just because it's easier. Everything is down there with the kitchen and, and another TV. But again, a nice comfy bed. I think it's a queen bed. Another bathroom up here. Same design as the one downstairs. And you even got another TV up here. So again, really nice spot. I'm very happy with it. It's like in a community with other small houses. So it's got a really nice patio. We've got other spots out there. I think I count, how many do I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven, eight, including mine. And they're all, all a little bit different. So this is patio is really nice. Some of the ones that are out here don't have a patio. It'd be nice if there's a fire pit somewhere. Not from what I can see. I 
does have a nice picnic area here as well, but no fire pits. So nice spot, nice container home. I honestly would like to have something like this for me to live in full time back at home. I don't need a lot of space. This is just as simplistic as it gets. Tiny living room, bedroom, bathroom, the end. I mean, what else does a man need? I'd be curious to know how much something like this costs and if you could actually have it in Illinois. I know there's a lot of rules with certain counties, so who knows, maybe someday. But thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.